back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV, continuing our look at 6.1 housing items. Specifically today we're looking at the Trick Bookshelf Partition, which is a basic level 90 carpenter recipe added in 6.1. As you can see on the left side of the screen there, it uses two mounted bookshelves, which were a previously added item a long time ago now, which were quite nice as you can see in the background actually of this video I have one over there. Uh, this also uses four integral lumber, four manganese ingots, two pewter ingots, as well as 32 wind and 32 ice crystals with a recommended craftsmanship of 2805 as usual. So let's go and have a look at this item. So as I said, I do have a bookcase over here. This is the bookcase in question that we've had previously. So the idea behind this one is we're going a little bit James Bond, essentially. Um, I, I really love this item. It's going to be used in so many different places, and I, I love it. So it says, pull the correct tome from the shelf to trigger the hidden door. Perfect for bibliophiles with a secret agenda. Brilliant. And as you can see, as I bring it close to my character, it has opened up, so it kind of gave the game away. But as you can see, side by side with the other bookshelf, is there much difference? Can you tell the difference between this bookshelf and this bookshelf? I don't think you can. Maybe you can, but I can't. Oh, maybe from the... Oh, that's a shame. They should have kept it the same height. <laughs> I was looking down here and thinking, oh, yeah, it looks perfectly, you know, you know, representable. You, there's no way. And then you look up. So there are slight differences, such as the height. It goes a much, much further. To, it goes to ceiling height, actually, for what would be a small pro uh, property, whereas the normal book bookshelf doesn't. Um, and also the grain is different as well. Oop, the door opened. Uh, as you can see, the, the normal bookshelf has that sort of more chestnut-y tone. We can probably change that, though, with, um, with dye options, right? So this is exactly what this looks like as we... Let's, let's just walk our way into this, and then the door opens. It would be nice if it was an interaction-based placement, so, like, we had the ability to actually pull... On, a, on an actual specific book to open this. But as regards to my request, a long, long time ago, I said how cool it would be to have a hidden door, like in, you know, a spy thriller or something for like a, I don't know, like a hidden, like a hidden mystery wall, like you pull something on a fireplace or a bookcase. This is really cool. So obviously, you know, you should be filled with the ideas of creating secret areas now. People have been creating secret compartments and stuff in housing for a very long time, actually, mostly using the fact that some items don't have a physical mesh, like a collision detection mesh that you can walk through. On some of the housing visitations that I've done whilst on uh, my Twitch stream, twitch.tv forward slash Mioni, uh, we have a redeem where people can ask me to look around their house, and we've seen many hidden compartments. So maybe this is a little bit too obvious, and without that interaction to trigger the opening of the door, maybe that's a little less fun than if you had an interaction. Because I could walk past this, uh, and if it didn't open automatically, I would have never have guessed that this was a uh, like one of the hidden bookcases. Unless I looked upwards and now realized that there's a size difference. <laughs> but yeah, you're going to have studies everywhere now with really cool hidden back rooms or something so you can pretend... Oh, I don't know. That, that's what this game's all about. You know, make pretend. I like the way that it hinges as well. How the books just fold. It's exactly what we wanted. It really is. And it is seamless as well without the door opening. So you have to be... Uh, you have to be significantly close for it to open, right? What's a few... A few moms about there. So that's the, the trigger point for the doors to detect you. Which is the same as any other door. But you could quite easily walk through this area without actually realizing that that was there quite easily. And it's like, oh yeah, I wonder if you can hide it, find the hidden room. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Put my gold in there, you know. Hide all of the gold. So die options then. This has to be dieable. It has to be dieable. There we go. Let's make this a little bit smaller considering the size of the bookshelf in question. And we'll zoom out a little bit. So yeah, it starts off with that sort of dark color. And of course we can make this whatever color we want. Um, I quite like black shelves. I think they look fantastic. Of course you can have nice solid colors like the red look. 
or a bright pink but of course we also have those darker colors so trying to match to the other bookshelf you're probably looking at some of the browns the darker ones so what is it that's close russet brown's pretty close maybe a little bit lighter than that i don't know if it probably sits in a strange blend of color i'm not sure what that I mean, you could, of course, just dye the other item as well to try and match it. But if you wanted to get it the same color, from my eyes at least, I cannot see how we can get that as close. So you're probably going to have to dye both of the items to make it look less sticky outy. Of course, you could, uh, you know, you're not really going to see the top of those things if you put other items up there, right? So... But yeah, it looks pretty good in a variety of different colors as, as we usually look at them. So hopefully this has filled you with some ideas. But it is nice that um, this got added to the game. There's there's lots of other things I would like to see. Like I say, a hidden fireplace door or something. So it looks like a false fireplace. And you you know, you know tug on like a, a stone lion's head and it goes and opens. You know, Indiana Jones style or something, or hidden rooms where you, you pull on something like a tassel and it opens another door. Fantastic stuff. I really like this one. It is a shame it's not identical in terms of design to the other ones because it does stick out. But people are going to use a lot of dressing, other items to make this look more uh, fitting and probably less obvious. Anyway, let me know what you think about this. If you picked one up yet, if you plan to... And it's very easily accessible. Level 90 basic carpenter recipes with simple bits in it. Nice gill maker as well. Much love. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.